Hey church, it's Tuesday afternoon and uh, I want to give you a little update and address your heart. All right, let's just address each other's hearts. I read scripture every single morning and, and it's so important to me because that's, that's one of those times where, where uh, I'm, I'm feeding God's word on God's word and where I'm convicted. All right, so let me tell you my conviction and I hope that it encourages you. A couple weeks ago, I was mopey. I get mopey. Mopey, frustrated that we can't meet inside our building. Mopey that, that we're, we're doing things online. Just kind of that. You know that feeling? There's no way to describe it. And I came across Philippians 2. It's a passage that we know. And Paul's words to the Philippians, they're great. And they encouraged me probably just as much as they encouraged the Philippians. Give you an idea. Paul is in prison. And he's the one in jail, and he's writing to the Philippians. And here's what he says, beginning at verse 14. It says, Do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast to the word of life, so that in the day of Christ I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Even if I am poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrificial offering of your faith, I'm glad and rejoice with you all. Likewise, you also should be glad and rejoice with me. Paul's in prison. The Philippians are probably frustrated that Paul is in prison for not having done anything wrong. Maybe they're thinking that their, their rights have been, have been violated. Paul's rights have been violated. And what does Paul say? Do all things without grumbling or disputing. Why? So that you would be blameless, innocent children of God. That you would shine as lights in the world. And he says, what if he dies? How are they to respond? He says, I, if I'm to be poured out as a drink offering, poured out in death, given as an offering to the Lord, he says, I am glad and rejoice with you all. It was at that moment that I realized, you know what? The sky isn't falling. I, I wish we could meet inside, but we, we're still able to meet. And, and it reminded me, I don't want to put myself in a corner I don't want to live in that period of grumbling. That's, we're, we're forbidden from being there. As Christians, we're to rejoice. Rejoice. Rejoice always. How do we find joy? Well, first, it's being centered on Christ. It's remembering Christ. Second Timothy is Paul's last letter. Paul is near death. He's about to die. And in Second Timothy, he writes Paul. And in chapter 2, he tells Paul tells Timothy, he says, remember Jesus Christ. Remember what I've told you about what he did. And so how do we keep a good attitude through life, through frustrations, through setbacks? By remembering the gospel. How does, that, how does the gospel help us? Because it reminds us that what we truly deserve is the wrath of God. We deserve so much more than whatever frustrations we are going through right now through whatever inconveniences that we have. So we, we, we deserve the very wrath of God, and that's exactly why Jesus died, to free us from the wrath of God. I'll tell you what, that gives us joy. That gives us hope. That, that, that makes me want to celebrate what he's done. And when I remember that, suddenly things don't seem so bad. So church, we may not be able to meet inside, but we've been given lots of freedom still. So let me tell you how we're going to make the best of this frustrating situation and, and how we can do it with joy, all right? So first, Sunday mornings, we are streaming Sunday mornings. You can view it on facebook.com backslash Southwest Christian Church. You can view it 10 a.m. right there. If you're having a difficult time viewing the service at 10 a.m. on Sundays, you can always go to the church's website, southwestchristianchurch.org. The service happens there at 10 a.m. as well, all right? So if you are having a hard time going to Facebook, go to the church's website. It's on the main page. There's a giant box there, and it streams at 10 a.m. I leave it up throughout the week, and then Friday morning, it gets ready for the next one, okay? So you can always go to the church's website and watch them at 10 a.m. Now, that's just Sunday mornings, but remember, we, we've still got freedoms, and I want... I want us to be encouraging to each other. So the other thing that we can do is we can still gather, but we can gather outside. Church, I couldn't encourage you more. Please be here for when we get together outside. It's good for you. God has 
has designed us to be in fellowship with one another. He's designed us to be around each other. Be here, all right? Be here. If you're afraid of germs, if you're afraid of getting too close to someone, you can stay in your car, all right? I'm not going to criticize you. You can stay in your car, but please come. You can wear a mask. I'm not... I don't want anyone to, to shun you if you're wearing a mask. If you're wearing a mask, I won't, I won't say any jokes. No one will say any jokes, all right? But please come. Please be around each other. That, that's, it's important. It's, it's how God designed us. So here's what we're doing. Beginning this Sunday, 6 o'clock, right outside those doors, we're going to have an outdoor worship service. It'll be an hour long. We'll sing some songs. We'll pray together. We'll hear each other praying. I know that that's kind of sometimes a scary thing for you, but it's important for us to hear each other. Another thing that happens in 2 Timothy 2 is Paul says that it's good for, for men to pray with, with their hands lifted up. So we're going to pray. And we're going to pray loud, all right? So please come Sunday nights expecting to pray. We're going to take the Lord's Supper together. So while we're, we're not allowed to come inside and while we're having our morning services online, we still want to have fellowship. We still want to break the bread together. So Sunday nights, we'll have communion, we'll have a brief message, we'll sing songs, we'll sing praise. That's important, all right? And we're going to keep doing it. One way or the other, we're going to do that, we're going to get together. So please come Sunday nights for that. The other thing is on Wednesday nights, we've, we've been going through a, a class with Houston. Houston has been teaching through, he calls it gospel clarity, and he's teaching through what the gospel is teaching through what Christ has, has accomplished and how to share that with people. So please make every effort to be here for that, all right? And then we're going to begin a parenting series on Wednesday nights. So when Houston's done with his class, we're going to just keep going on Wednesdays. And we've got a series by Paul Tripp, and it's on parenting. It's a four-week series on parenting. We want to see you here for that, all right? Parents, grandparents, people who think they're going to be parents, please come. And it's a, a great class on the gospel, kind of working through different stages of life, all right? So even if, if you've got little kids, it's going to be applicable to you. If you've got high school age kids, it's applicable to you. But we want you to be a part of that. Then in September, Karen's going to begin a, a women's study. And uh, we're, we're still working out the times. But women, we'd love for you to be a part of that. And if you'd like to be a part of that, please see Karen. Um, other things that we have going on is, is uh, I want to make the most of this situation. All right. Currently, we're meeting right outside those doors. And uh, it's just the back end of our parking lot. But church, I, I want to make it look a little nicer. A little nicer, all right. Put some, some stuff out there so it's a little bit special, not just some parking spaces. I'm going to need some help setting up. So... Men, I'm going to ask you, if can you help us set up outside? Men who are available, please respond to this email. If you don't respond, I'm going to start contacting you. But I'm going to need some help because I, I want to make the best of the situation. I don't want us to be grumbling when we're here. I want us to know that it's special when we come together because we're demonstrating the work that God has done and uh, that Jesus has done for us and the work that the Holy Spirit has done in our hearts. It is special when we come together. And so I want to show that specialness when we come together. So church, I'm going to need some help. Also, this is just a, a public service announcement. Men who are interested in being a part of the Southwest Ministry Academy, uh, I need your applications, all right? I gave you some applications uh, uh, back at the beginning of July. Well, here we are in August. I need your applications because I want to start preparing for it. So men, please fill out those applications. You can either scan them and email them to me. Or you can drop them off at the church, bring them on a Sunday night and give them to me, or a Wednesday night, but I need those, all right? All in all, church, here's what I, I want to encourage you, and it's let's praise God, let's rejoice, let's meet together as often as we can, and let's celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for us, all right? And let's do it with a smile on our face and with rejoicing.